Morning guys, so today we're going to have a look at uh, how we can approach a model of a shipping container. There an AutoCAD base is sketched out using some dimensions that we found on the internet. These shipping containers of course are a great way to get into the uh, circular economy and um, reuse of shipping containers to create housing, cheap housing. And really what we want to do is we want to create a Revit model out of that. Now, you could have it in a... And we're investigating this, just by the way. Um, we're not sure whether this is going to work. But we, we're we going to try it anyway. We'd like to have some realism on this um, on the shipping container. And so we're going with a Revit project. Um, the idea or the thinking behind it is that if we create... Um, this is Revit Alti, of course, which is very interesting. But... you it's the only thing that one can model in place is a wall and they've moved it onto the little wall tab there as opposed to the components drop down but we're going to try and see if if we model this wall um, if we can uh, host a window in it so we go with an all extrusion and we pick the lines oh, this is going to take quite a while if we do one at a time so perhaps we can be lucky and if we tab onto one of these then it will select a whole bunch of them. Ah, uh, there you see. It will work. Alright. So let's do this from the beginning. We pick the lines, we hover over one of the lines and then we press tab. It selects all of the lines that are connected to it. Click and there we can see ah, oh, it's done all of the lines. Great. So now we don't have to spend forever um, creating this profile. And then there we go, let's do the lines on the underside there. Another pick lines command, we tab onto the line and click. There we go, and then we close it up using a line. There's the line, we've closed the line. And on the other side, I zoom all the way in. And there we close the line. Alright, except that it will generate a uh, a wall extrusion, we can go and have a look at a um, elevation um, to see how high it goes, or we can set that already, but for the moment let's go and have a look at a material we'd like to have something like galvanized iron or some steel we just need to find that in our materials library um, which isn't visible at the moment but I'm sure we'll find that within the AAC collection. Let's make this a bit bigger and have a look. Let's look for galvanized. Mm, there we go. After we've opened the library, we accept the model. Let's have a look at this model. We're going to go to an elevation. Let's make sure about the height. Let's drag it up a bit and align it to that level at the top there. There we go. Alrighty. That looks pretty realistic. We're, we're going to hope that it behaves. And um, we'll see if we can put some windows and a door in there. We've mirrored it across to the other side and let's go and have a look and see what happens when we in, in, input a mirror okay there it fails it fails so the extrusion doesn't work first the wall on the other side over that's just a normal wall a thin wall and then with a texture applied and there we've got a little bit of an error but it's 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 workable so unfortunately for us um, the you know, with the shipping container, it's not really going to work. So, if you are looking for some more textures, um, you could also go and have a look at this nice website. It's called TextureSketchUpClub.com. You can register for free and download some of the sort of lower resolution pictures. They're quite good anyway. Um, and you might find something over there that's going to work for you. Um, let's just have a look. Maybe we can find a, a better picture to use as the texture. We're having a look at the roofs. There's some um, metal roofs. And we can see mostly IBR and corrugated. So 
we might actually end up having to take a picture of the shipping container or having a, a further look on the internet to see if we can't find a pattern that will be more applicable to the shipping container. But in any case, this is a great resource. Download some of these images if you'd like to use them for your uh, materials and um, and that's great. So the the there we've got what it looks like. Okay. You'll see in the in the in the type properties of the material under the structure there we can see the material that was created for it. Um, that steel galvanized container wall, there's the appearance and in the appearance you can of course select the image. There you can click on the image name to select the image and then you can also click on the picture itself to um, indicate what the um, what the size of the image and the rotation and so forth is. Yeah. Well, until next time, enjoy it.